guys, it's Candace. So today I'm gonna to show you all the things that I got from the Dollar Tree. And if y'all are familiar with the Dollar Tree, you know they've got tons of storage containers, um, supplies to organize your space, and a lot of seasonal things. And I went there this morning and they've got out all of their spring, Easter, and St. Patrick's Day things. So let me show you what I bought. First thing I bought was in the storage section. And it is, it doesn't have a size on it, but it looks to be a little bigger than an eight and a half by 11. Um, and what I intend to do with this is store some papers in it in one of my drawers. Cause right now they're just floating all over the place and it's crazy. Um, next thing I found, it was, uh, must be very new because I've never seen them there before, but they've got lots of new kind of farmhouse -y decor and the first thing I got was this framed print and it says home is where the heart is and if you can see through the glare there's kind of a whitewashed wood pattern in the background that's one of those that I got and the rest of these are little miniature canvas prints um, a lot like the ones that you see at Hobby Lobby they're about an 8 by 8 here's this first one it's just a verse from Amazing Grace and it has that same whitewashed wood uh, kind of background on there um, the next ones I got let me dig through them um, are these two floral ones and I plan on um, doing a little bit of a collage type thing on the wall maybe in my office so these two were enough alike that I think they'll look good as a pair but different enough so that they're not identical y'all I love these little things I mean they're a dollar um I also found a few that I don't particularly have a plan for yet but as of right now, my house is pretty bare as far as the walls go. You can see back here, I've got some little canvases of our family pictures. Um, and that's really other than maybe two or three small prints somewhere that I've gotten from Big Lots or Hobby Lobby. That's about all that's on my walls. So I'm really needing to get things decorated. We've been here about almost a year and a half now and I'm still undecorated. But um, this is one of those prints. It's a really pretty teal kind of aqua color um, with these little birds sitting on a wire. This is kind of my color scheme in the house and I thought that would be really cute to fill up a space. And if I decide not to use it, I can give it away or just store it. And again, it was just a dollar. Um, the next two are two of my favorites. This is... Um, just some succulents in this little wooden crate and again has that whitewashed wood background very very farmhousey um, this kind of thing if it was at Hobby Lobby I imagine it would probably be nine or ten dollars and I mean it's probably not the same quality like put together wise as you would find at Hobby Lobby but it's a dollar and I just I love these succulents this is one of my next favorites and it just says love lives here it uh, looks like either a magnolia leaf or like a fiddle leaf wreath not real sure what the leaves are there but again that's just like those other ones it just kind of has that whitewashed wood background very farmy farmhousey um the next one is another one of those like i said i don't have a specific plan for but it kind of goes along with the color scheme of what I'm doing here in the house. And it just says good vibes only. And it's kind of an ombre. It starts out a, a little bit of a teal aqua color and just goes up to a solid white. So I will either use this one, give it away, or just kind of store it. And it's small enough that you can do things like sit it on your countertop uh, against your backsplash or something like that. But there's that one y'all like I bought a million of these 
Let's see, this one says, family. Together is my favorite place to be. And it's a lot like the Amazing Grace one. Just has the script and the whitewashed wood. And last but not least, I found this one. And it's just a bathtub, like a old style clawfoot bathtub in this really pretty teal color with some bubbles. And again, it has this white wash color. For some reason, um, the seams of the wood go in front of the picture. So it appears that this has been painted on pieces of wood, I guess it was the look they were going for. But I thought that would be really cute in my bathroom, maybe above my toilet or something. Just super cute. Looks really nice because it's canvas and has um, the gallery edges on it. And it's a book. So, there's that. And some of the next things I bought, they do have out their spring um, florals. And I got just tons and tons and tons. Um, I do have a plan for all these. And I'll show you just a minute the ones that I bought. Um, and I will video the DIY um, kind of tablescape that I plan on doing with these florals and show you that in another video. So first things first, I got two pics of these. Um, the tag says lilacs, just white with some, a little bit of greenery. Two of those. The next one, if I can dig them out here. I got two of those. They're also lilacs. They're just in a real light purple color. Um, these are lavender. I got two of those. This says cattails. Two of those. And then... I got a much darker um, pick of lavender, and I got three of those. And again, the little tag just says lavender. And then I only got one of these. It's kind of like, um, I think you call it a spider plant or like some form of hosta, but there was no tag on it. And this is the only one I could find, but I thought at the least I could cut some leaves off individually and put them on floor, um, floor wire and put them down in the little things I plan on using them for. But I love these, they're super springy. It's starting to warm up just the slightest bit here in Kentucky, but I'm ready for spring. And I told the little lady at the Dollar Tree, my theory is maybe if I go ahead and get my spring decorations put out, that it'll start to feel like spring, although it's, Sometime for the next week or so, the highs are only like in the 30s or 40s, but it's going to look like spring in here. Um, let's look. Okay, they, these next things are what I got for my kids' Easter baskets. So, if you're friends or family of mine and you're watching this, please do not show my children. That would be great because they still believe in the Easter Bunny and that he fills their baskets up. And I would like to keep it that way for as long as possible. So, um, I got them a few things that are pretty much the same. And then I got them a few different things um, that are more specific to them. So, my son, I bought him this foam glider plane. They're, again, they're not super great quality, but... We've paid up close to $10 for this same sort of thing from Walmart. And honestly, they don't last a ton longer. So for a tenth of the price, I would much rather just pay a dollar for them. If they last 10 minutes and he has fun with it, it's a dollar well spent. Um, and for my daughter, since I got him that, she loves to paint. So I got her, it's a little ceramic duck and three little tubs of paint 
that you can paint and it it's got a little string on the top so you can use it like an ornament but she loves to paint and she's got tons of these paints so I thought she'd really enjoy just painting that little guy uh, next I bought um, the same for both of them and it's called an Easter Bunny Ball Shooter so it's this little Easter Bunny whose nose is kind of a funnel shape you can see in there. So, let me lay this one down. When you put these little foam balls in his little mouth, you just squeeze him and he'll shoot it out. Now, they've had several toys similar to this, and they really like them. They don't last a particularly long time. These little balls get lost, but they're super cute. It's a filler for their basket, and they're only a dollar. The good thing with the Dollar Tree is you can really do super nice baskets, Christmas stockings, any kind of little gifts like that, and you can really fill them up because each thing is just a dollar. Where if you go and buy a pre-made dollar or a pre-made basket, you're gonna pay $20, $25 and probably get the same amount of stuff that you can use uh, or get from the Dollar Tree and only have about 10 or $12 in it. And one thing that we, um, do for Easter is we purchase some pretty nice Easter baskets that we can use over and over again. So that saves um, a little bit of money each year because they've got super nice baskets that are gonna last and we can use them year and year, year again after again. Did that make sense? <laughs> um, this next things were just some essentials that I needed and I usually always buy from the Dollar Tree and that's toothpaste for my kids. It's the same toothpaste, the same size that at Walmart you're going to pay like $2.54 and at the Dollar Tree that's just a buck. So that's one thing that I almost always buy at the Dollar Tree and that's our toothpaste. Uh, this next thing's not Easter basket filler um, but I saw this and just thought it was so darn cute and it's these hanging decorations um, there's three or four different types of flowers and they're on strings I'm not sure if the strings are attached if they're or if they're six single strings but I thought that would be super cute to hang on our kitchen door or on a wall or even in my daughter's room. Her room is done in these kind of corally teal colors and I just thought that was super cute for a dollar. And if you can hear the barking, that's one of my dogs in the garage. He keeps getting out of his enclosure so he's currently in timeout and he's not liking it very much and I apologize if you can hear him yapping. Um, let's get back to the Easter basket stuff so I don't get all out of whack. Um, let's do some candy. I got these. They're essentially exact same. They just have different colored eggs on top. I like to do that so um, they can kind of tell them apart. We have in the past had a big fight because, oh, that's mine, that's mine. This kind of fixes that. One gets purple, one gets yellow. And they're just little M&M type candies. Super cheap, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of chocolate, extra filler. Um, I also found, if you have kids, you have probably experienced the slime craze, um, but I found some glitter slime. This probably is not gonna last very long either, but they love it. Uh, so for my son, I got one that's um, blue and green and yellow. And then for my daughter, I got one that's blue and purple. Again, they're the same thing, but when they're different colors, there's no fight over whose is whose. And the last thing so far that I got for their Easter baskets are a pack each of ring pops. We usually do these for every basket um, because they love them. And you get four of them for a dollar. Now, I don't typically buy them candy outside holidays, so I don't exactly remember how much ring pops are, but I do believe getting four of them for a dollar is a pretty good deal. And if not, it's okay. I was there, I seen them, and that's usually where I get them. So each of them get a pack of 
spring pops. Uh, the next thing I got is just this little tiny travel bottle of Head and Shoulders. Um, I, I use dry shampoo a lot because it takes quite some time to wash, dry, and fix this mess hair of mine. And I've noticed that right here in the front and right on my crown, I get itchy after I've um, used the dry shampoo. And I've started noticing a couple little flakes of dandruff, so I got some head and shoulders to try and see if that can clear that up a little bit before I went and paid seven or eight dollars for the big bottle. All right, I'm getting to the end of the bag. This next thing is just a little bit of decor I bought for myself. Um, it has a ribbon hanger on the top, and I'm probably gonna hang this on my front door. But it's these just little. Um, I don't know exactly what type of material you would call it, like chipboard or something, but it's floral with a little teal glitter trim. Then the next one down you have is some teal stripes with a reef and that same trim, and it says celebrate everything, and then you have two of the same things. So when you hang it up like on a door, it's going to give some length and just very springy. And the last two or three things, um, these may or may not go in their baskets. I'm not sure. I just seen them and knew that they would really enjoy them. And the first thing, hey, you stop it. The first thing is this little artist's canvas. It is five by seven. Um, and it's pretty, seems to be pretty decent quality. And this is also the first time I've ever seen these at the Dollar Tree. I have bought the same sort of thing from Hobby Lobby or Michaels before and the stretched canvases with the wooden frames are not super cheap by no means um, but my daughter loves to paint and I thought this would be super cute to give her a medium to paint on that we can then hang on her wall or something like that. They have these in several different sizes but that's for her just a little five or seven canvas to paint on. Also, this is kind of for both kids. It's this little tiny book of Bible stories, and there's three stories in the one book, and it is a level one reader, which on the back it tells you is for kindergarten and first grade, ages four to seven. So it's a little um, below age, I guess, for my son. Um, He's reading chapter books at this point, but my daughter is just in kindergarten is just learning to read But it has the story of Adam and Eve Daniel in the lion's den and David and Goliath So I thought this would be something cute for me to read to my daughter or my son to read for himself Or even if they can tolerate each other long enough for my son to read to my daughter So super cute And then the last thing is for my son it's just a big coloring book we go through coloring books pretty quick um some of them that they had they had some avengers coloring books and a spongebob coloring book but the pictures were super super detailed and i have found that my kids in particular like the bigger the more simple pages um because the super detailed ones they just really really lose their patience and get done very quickly so that's all I got I think I spent $43 I think and got tons of cute spring decor pretty much got our Easter baskets done um, got some essentials that I needed to pick up anyway and then a couple extra little things so if you are close to a Dollar Tree um, and I know some Dollar Trees are humongous and will probably have a lot more to choose from. Ours here is kind of small um, and they did have this big of a selection. So um, if you're looking for some new cheap spring decor or Easter decor, even St. Patrick's Day, they had a whole aisle of just St. Patrick's Day stuff, um, that'd be the place to go. So with that said, thanks for watching. Um, Thanks for 
being a, subscri a subscriber if you are. And if you're not, just click the little subscribe button down below. It's free to do. And if you want to be notified anytime I upload a video, you can click the little bell beside the subscribe button. It'll let you know when I post a video. So until next time, see ya.